what's up everybody? This is Zanga Warrior here with another reaction video for today. We have waited a hell of a long time for a new Nintendo Direct. 530 days to be exact. And then the almighty Shigeru Miyamoto has ascended from the heavens to bless us with a new Nintendo Direct of 2021. And it's about freaking time too, because we've been like going on for this long without any Nintendo news or directs. I mean, we've mostly seen like tweet announcements here and there, but you know what? That pales in comparison. I think what we, as millions of people, really wanted is some good old fashioned hype beasts. Activation mode activated in Nintendo Direct 2021. And finally, we got one. So I actually did my live stream of my reaction to the new Nintendo Direct just yesterday night. And we'll see how that event kind of goes for me. Let's see what games I was excited about. I even prepared my own bigger car for the situation. A terrible ass bigger car, but it's a bigger car nevertheless. So I really do hope you enjoyed this live reaction of me, reacting to the Nintendo Direct, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, guys. She was as if she vanished off the face of all rest. Pirate Smash. Oh, that would be fucking weird, wouldn't it? Pirate Smash? Or unless Rex is uh, gonna be in Smash. This is where you were. Pyra! There's Pyra. Sorry, Rex. She's good waifu material, though. I couldn't tell you. Please tell me she's in No, she's not in Smash. I got an Oh, for fuck's sake! No! What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, I knew it! I fucking knew she was in Smash! Are you fucking kidding me? What? That is so freaking cool! Best waifu! Oh my god! Oh shit, really? Yo, why the hell do you keep surprising me with this shit, Nintendo? What the fuck? I don't know, Sephiroth might not be able to top this one. Nah, I think Sephiroth can top this one, he's my boy. But Pirate Smash, I don't know. I see a bunch of degenerates actually playing as her. What a Smash reveal. I mean, it's not Crash and Smash, but I'm not disappointed. <laughs> Unless she changes into Scratch Bandicoot, then I'll be pretty cool. No, Crash Bandicoot's gonna be like a me fighter. Nah. He'll be, he'll be a me fighter, probably. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. Yeah, it took you long enough. <laughs> We're making games. Stop pestering us. Samurai War Samurai Warriors. I mean, I know of Dynasty Warriors, but Samurai Warriors. So it's literally like Dynasty Warriors, but with a new skin of paint. It's like Persona. Shin Megami Tensei. Samurai Warriors <laughs> Dynasty Warriors. Samurai Warriors. Summer after 20 long years, Legend of Mana featuring ah. graphics is coming to Nintendo. All right, that's that's pretty cool. They're bringing some real love to the Secret of Mana franchise. I don't think they could actually remaster or port Children of Mana from the DS to the Switch. That game is kind of mixed, in my opinion. That was the first Mana game I've actually played. Please take a look at this. Alright, surprise me, dude. Mario Golf! Mario Golf! I don't play Mario Golf. <laughs> a lot of people will be really surprised with this one. I, I mean, I played everybody's golf. That's pretty much the only golf games I played. Everybody's golf is actually a pretty kick-ass game. On the PS4, I think you gotta get it. Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales of the Borderlands. Oh, okay, okay. Tales of the Borderlands now. <laughs> All right then. I mean, I'll, I'll just stick to the Walking Dead and Wolf Among Us. Replenish your bodily arsenal. This looks like an old Xbox game. <laughs> if I say if it looks like an Xbox game, and the offspring says it is an Xbox game, <laughs> that'd be surprising. Yeah, let's go! Come on! Give us a release date, my boys! I need to play two of the freaking No More Heroes games. Everyone's been clamoring for this game for ages, but I want Bayonetta 3 more than No More Heroes 3. Bayonetta 3 would actually light me up so fucking much. Whoa, is this a card game first- first person card game? That is so odd! <laughs> a card game first person shooter! <laughs> what? What? I mean, I heard of a rhythm first-person shoot, a music rhythm first-person shooter, but a card game first-person shooter. That is crazy, dude. That's actually a cool-ass comment. I would be down for that. Yeah, no you. <laughs> Snipe, no 360, no set go. Hey, Twilight Sparkle. This game is going to be one of the most disappointing games of 2021, isn't it? It's going to be on everyone's 2021 top 10 worst lists, and... Say that it runs poorly, it's terrible, it's unbalanced, and it's janky. Yeah, I'm predicting it right now. I'm predicting it right now, guys. I don't know about Superhero Girls because of that one short that before Teen Titans go to the movies. I, I, mean, I mean, YouTubers will play it and then be like, yo, I'm making a video of how terrible this game is. 
imagine this being a $60 game. You, you, you buy this for your kid and you only play it for like five minutes. I, I'm not saying that because I have a bias towards this game. I'm just picturing it how in the future it'll turn out to be just that. And nobody will like buy the game. Because during that period we're getting Monster Hunter Rise, we're getting Mario Golf. All of these games are probably overshadowed DC Superhero Girls. It's gonna be like the black sheep of the whole freaking Nintendo announcement. It's like, wait, Superhero Girls who? It's like, who's Rem? Who's DC Superhero Girls? Who will join you in your adventure? Oh, we're getting some me stuff now? Are you bringing Street Pass back to the me to the Switch? Yeah, we got Miitopia back! Hell yeah! I mean, you're getting there, Nintendo. You got Miitopia. Just bring back fucking Street Pass already. God damn it. I miss fucking Street Pass for the 3DS. Why can't you just like put Street Pass into your Switch? Nah, you get me to Utopia. Why not? But Topia's probably free to play. If it's free to play, then I'll probably put some uh, time to it. Pokemon Cafe Mix was free to play as well, but you had to like wait a couple of times. You can have a horse as an ally? Yo, rare mounts. Oh, you got a super rare mount. <laughs> uh, how long do I have to grind in order to get that mount, guys? I was going to get a PS5 for my birthday. I can't believe how expensive the games are for PS5 nowadays. You paid like, what, £470 for a console? £70 for a new game? I, want, I, I, know, I love Ratchet & Clank, right? But even I wouldn't pay £60, £70 for a game like that. That's pre-order shit. What the hell? Why are games getting so expensive nowadays? Has inflation really hit them that hard? Whoa, whoa! JRPG? No way! No! Oh my god, it's Path Traveler 2! Come on, please! Oh my god, no! Please! Please tell me Alter Path Traveler 2! I know, I know Baby Default 2 was already announced, but it looks like Alter Path Traveler 2 to me! Come on, dude! I'm crossing that shit off, I don't care what it is! It's a new RPG! It's presenting a new style and a new combat system. Yeah. Triangle strategy. Okay, like Project Octopath Traveler. Octopath Traveler. Triangle therapy. I mean, I mean, if you call it a project thing, then it's gonna be still that title. You can't think of anything else, right? I want a new JRPG that I can actually play. Like, um, I know Fire Emblem can, can, can technically count as a JRPG, but I want like a pure-blooded, nostalgic JRPG that I can actually play and feel really invested into it. Like this one. This one has some sort of like strat. It's like Pharmacy Tactics. A game that looks like Pharmacy Tactics like this, I'm all fucking for it. Pharmacy Tactics is so fucking awesome. I wish that I wish Great Enix would make a sequel to the Pharmacy Tactics already. Ward Alliance and Advance isn't enough. New full blooded game, please. Come on. But this will have to do. Oh, I know it's called Triangle Strategy. There's a hidden thing inside that name Triangle Strategy. It's going to involve three people, and if you team them up, you do an ultimate attack. There you go. I'm, I'm, I'm jotting down my mechanic. It's going to be called Triangle Strategy no matter what. They're not going to change the title. They know they won't. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. That's a good-looking 8-bit R I've ever fucking seen. Oh, guys, are they going to make Rule 34 out of this 8-bit uh, uh, girl? Twitter's going like, to make six, so much nude art of this 8-bit girl. She's literally best girl in the whole, in the whole trailer now. Oh, it's not Fortnite. Or is it? It looks like Fortnite, but my mind is confused. Mm, EA, you are tempting me. The game is suddenly called off. Okay, so when it's not just going to be like Dagger Rampa. You thought it was Dagger Rampa 2.0? Think again. So who's going to be best girl in this game, despite the fact that they're all kids? Yo, physical release of Hades! Come on, let's go! I want to get that game so badly! I want it physical! And it's only the Switch that gets a physical release! Why? Ah, oh, we got Ninja Gaiden! Ninja Gaiden Collection! Ah, oh, damn, Nico, you just played this like two weeks ago! Yo! I need to play the series now. That's not a bad set of announcements. I, I want to play Ninja Gaiden as much as the next guy. So we're pretty much like DLC and expansion pass. I mean, they're gonna focus on Hyrule Warriors. That means that gives them a lot more time to focus on Breath of the Wild. Yeah, expansion pass. Another Zelda game that has an expansion pass. Yeah, I know Bravely Default, Default 2 is coming on the here. Switch. I need to catch up with the Four two games. Actually, I have a, a Bravely Default, Default game right here. I got Bravely Default this second end layer, and I still need to play that freaking game. Still need to play it. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this one. I'm excited for this one. I'm totally going to download it. Totally. I remember playing Ghosts and Goblins on the Wii so many fucking times to the point where I actually spent run for the whole game without dying. All right, Apex Legends on the Switch. Ah, oh, damn it, dude. <laughs> Yo, 
go. Now Switch people are not alone. They can actually play with people on PC. God, imagine that. Play against PC players on the Switch. <laughs> I hope you have a keyboard compatibility on your Switch, guys. No, wait. They have motion controls. So there's a, an advantage there. There's still a little bit more to show you in today's Nintendo Direct. Go on. Ban it free. But for the wild too, all Kingdom Hearts games. Look at this. Come on. You already you already showed a Smash reveal. I don't think it'd be right to have that Smash reveal. Hello there. Oh, here we go. But for the wild too. Come on. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild game. You're wrong. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. We apologize. While you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. It would be really stupid where it just ended with that. We're sorry we couldn't bring you any updates, but Skyward Sword, you could just end it right here. It would be funny if the guy was just like, I'm sorry, there's no new Breath of the Wild 2 update today. You can leave. <laughs> That's literally how they end the direct. Just on a freaking giant heap of disappointment. That'd be so trolly what Edgy did do. Oh, Wind Waker's on the Wii U, right? Nah, Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword is more important. If you want to experience Wind Waker HD, buy a Wii U. You trolled by Bingo card. It's been like, what is it, five years since you released Breath of the Wild? It's gonna be like the usual $60, even though it's an old ass game from like the Wii days. Are you still gonna charge $60 for a game that's like old as shit? What is it, like nine years old now? Please don't charge $60 for it. That's like egregious. You rocked your ass off this year, but now you decided to go say, fuck you. No Breath of the Wild 2. Here's Skyward Sword for the Switch. Have a nice, good day, sir. Well, what did you think? What do I think? You know exactly what I think. I don't even have to say anything. Please take a look at this. Oh, one more thing. Halo for Switch. Nah, it's not Halo for Switch. No, it's Platoon 3? It's Platoon 3! Yo! <laughs> Yo! No fucking way! That's a really cool startup screen. Holy shit, no! Splatoon 3 is coming! Yo, I'm gonna get back to Splatoon 3, my boys! I played so much Splatoon 2 when I was when I was like having it in the Switch days. Just say, just say, just, just, just. I'm flustered right now. <laughs> I'm so flustered right now. Come on, Splatoon 3. This should have been the one more thing instead of fucking Skyward Sword. See, I was supposed to have been announced like in something like a tweet or something. Cause why the kind of whole presentation to just Skyward Sword? Just show us Platoon 3 and then we'll fill in the rest of the dots. Yeah, I love the music in the Splatoon series as well. I drum to that Splatoon soundtrack every fucking time. Yeah! Hell yeah, my boys! Let's go! Splatoon 3! I'm gonna totally play the shit out of this game when it comes out. I'm gonna spend a year on NSO and I'm gonna fucking own some cheap one now. I'm getting back to it. I need to get a Switch Pro. I need to get a Nintendo Switch. I'm not gonna play the shit out of this game. I'm gonna be honest, guys. This made my fucking night. Not gonna lie. But Super Free is actually a really good announcement. You're gonna have some Splatfests in there. Oh, come on. Next year? No. Bruh. Don't do this to me. That was actually pretty good. Wow. Okay. That was good. <laughs> that was good, Nintendo. That, that was a good ball you dropped there. That was a mic drop if I ever did fucking see one. Should we see what the dislike ratio is? <laughs> Should we see? Should we see? Everyone is pleased. <laughs> Everyone is pleased. Thank you, Nintendo. Thank you. Well, I hope you liked that reaction video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, as well as follow me on my Twitter, on my Facebook, and on my Gamerize video. See you all guys in the next reaction video.